Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can recover our current operating system by using a previously generated system restore point. So far, we've seen how we can enable the system restore functionality for a Windows 10 operating system, and we have created a system restore point. Now comes that time when we need to roll back our operating system because we have made changes that have had an adverse effect on our operating system. Now to do this, again, we're going to go down here to the search bar and we're going to type in create. And from the options we are given, let's select the first one, which is create a restore point. And from here, we're going to click on where it says system restore. And that brings up the system restore wizard. From here, we can go ahead and click next and we will be given a list of all the system restore points that have been generated by us or automatically by the system. Now you can select the system restore point that you want to roll back to and you can click next. From here all you have to do is click finish and the machine will now roll back to that point in time using this system restore point. Let's go ahead and click finish. And it tells you, once started, System Restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Let's go ahead and click Yes. And the machine will begin the restoration process, and it will restart. And after the system has been restored, it will come back up and give you a message stating that the System Restore either completed successfully or it didn't. There will be times when the System Restore will not work. And this is especially true for system restore points that may be older than acceptable for the operating system. There will be times when this will happen. The machine restarts and it gives you a message that you must wait while your Windows files and settings are being restored. And then it tells you that system restore is initializing. In the event that your Windows 10 machine will not start up normally, you can insert the media that you use to install the operating system and select the restore or repair option on the second screen. That will allow you to get into the advanced startup menu for the repair options and from there you will have access to the system restore. The restore has completed successfully. I'm going to go ahead and log in locally and we should be getting a message that the restore either completed successfully or we had an issue. And once we have logged on and we have been given our desktop, we will be given the message that System Restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to a certain date and time. Your documents have not been affected. So that is the good message that we all want to receive when we do have to roll back. But if it was not successful, you would have also received a message stating so. We go ahead and close that out. And our system is now restored to a previous date and time. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about undoing changes to our Windows 10 operating system using a system restore point. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about any of the information that was presented to you in this short video presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.